Hello, hello. Welcome. How's everybody doing? Hello, everyone. Hello. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I think that's better, right? Very good. A little better. We're so excited. Guys, we're here at the fabulous Cooper Design Space. Isn't this fabulous? In downtown LA, and you're going to have one of the most amazing highlights in terms of fashion. And uh, welcome to everybody watching us. We are live streaming on YouTube to the world. Yes. So hello, everybody out there. Hello. I am David Paul. And I am Nick Varios. And we are the co-chairs of Fashion Design at FIDM. We're very excited to present to you the 11 collections from our 11 fashion design, advanced fashion design graduates. And they've been working for nine months for three quarters, creating these very unique capsule collections. We are excited to present very diverse designers, everything from streetwear to avant-garde. It's gonna be an amazing show, of course. It'll be amazing. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Are you guys excited? Yeah. All right, let's go. Time for FIDM debut 2023. My collection title is Revoir, it's like in French, goodbye, see you again. I want to draw my collection as a story of our entire life. My customer would be a little bit bold and be positive with themselves, having self-confidence by wearing that garment. I want them to feel happy and calm. It would be um, really proud of myself. I'll be happy when they feel the same as me after they see my collection.
So the inspiration for my collection is, I guess, my personal experience as a queer interracial person growing up in the South, in Texas, and it's kind of the physical manifestation of those struggles. I want it to feel a little bit uneasy and almost like you're trapped in your skin because of your differences and then I guess embracing those differences. It's definitely, yeah, surreal. And I'm excited for the runway show and then everything that comes after as well. When I was looking at my collection, I was greatly inspired by the story like it took for me to become a person who I am today, which I've never done a collection or anything based on my experiences and myself. One of the hardest things was designing. Like my mind just kind of runs wild. It's not just debut I have to worry about. It's like keeping everything balanced. It's, it's a lot of work. I'm just like really excited to just get everything done and like have everyone see my pieces. If they don't like it, if they love it, whatever. But honestly, like I went through all that and just ended up being like a stronger designer and just overall sh a stronger person after.
My collection's inspired by classic art pieces. I kind of am really inspired by history and the evolution of art, like what brought us to what we have today. I kind of want to base each piece off each separate painting or artist. So each garment's going to be a little different, but they're all going to tie together. When you go to an art museum and you're the ones walking around looking at the pieces, it's supposed to be that you're the one sitting and the paintings got up and are walking around you. That's the experience I'm wishing to create. I just want everyone to be like inspired in their own way and take away what they can from it. My collection is inspired by LGBT history and a little bit of historical elements of fashion, but definitely with that queer lens. As a lot of young queer people, we kind of take our rights for granted 
but really I have a print in my collection which the fabric is different newspaper articles and the oldest one is only around 50 years old so I really just want to kind of remind everyone where we came from to kind of figure out where we're going. I'm very excited to get this out there and for everyone to see it. collection was initially inspired by my friend's grandma affectionately calling me a bearded lady. Then I kind of took that and like made a character around it. And then as that evolved, it became like more about the journey of like my transition and being like a non-binary femme. I have a lot of like lettuce hymns to reference like black designers before me. But then I also have like a lot of exaggerated shapes to try to show like the roughness of the trans experience and the black experience together. I also want to pay homage to like the trans femmes who like walked before for me and kind of laid out the path for me to be able to get where I am meant to be. But overall, I'm really excited. I'm 
Alignment is a collection that represents a story of my past struggle, present effort, and future goal that helped me shape myself and identify my life purpose. I was born in Vietnam, but I came here when I was five. It, it, it was difficult at first coming over here, like not knowing any language or anyone. I want to show the eye not only my success and achievement throughout my journey, but also the dark moment and the obstacle I overcome. When I'm dedicated to something, I want to leave a piece of myself with it, and I want to relay my message and inspire the young generation like myself.
I started customizing clothes in like sophomore year. My grandma gave me a sewing machine, so she showed me how to sew. That kind of transitioned into me wanting to like fully make my own clothes. And with this collection, I wanted really for it to be kind of like about me. So I put in a lot of like my own inspiration from music and TV and movies that made me who I am today. I kind of want to put things into the collection that make people really look at it and be like, what's going on here? I would say I come from an art background, like my whole life I've done art, like art classes or anything in the arts, like I've done drama, I've done dance, I've done literally anything. And then I kind of like stumbled upon fashion and I was like, okay, this is everything that I like. So it's like something that I can express myself and it's also the only thing I see myself doing for the rest of my life. My personal aesthetic is, I would say maybe like whimsical and colorful. Sometimes people call menswear boring and like limited. I don't think this is boring. I think this is so fun and I'm gonna have so much fun with this. I want them to be thrilled and excited and just like looking forward to more.
inspiration for the collection is my religion and it's uh, just avant-garde. You can expect to see leather, hints of metallic chrome, and um, something you would see like in the streets, like ready to wear. Just seeing your creations come to life. It's like uh, everything you put into it and it's just fun, yeah. I always just like take a step back and stare at things just to make sure they're right. At the end, it's just, it's exactly what I want and it's gonna be great, yeah. I think for this collection, there's not really an intended customer. I was trying to aim for like a more of like a couture type experience. Having that sense of mystery or the unknown, that sense of not fully knowing the whole story behind it makes a lot of art really, really interesting, really exciting. And I feel like, I don't know, there's just a, something lost when you, you hear someone's explanation of it or something. I guess I'm just most excited about seeing the whole thing together. I don't know, you work so long on these individual parts and I'm more interested just to see the whole piece come together and just put a lot of myself into the collection, I guess, and I'm just excited to show it to people.
Thank you.